Well, well, welcome, gamers. Um, as you could probably see by the title, I officially hate myself. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, I really do. Um, because of, well, because of other reasons, but also because of this. Um, I saw that Brendan was going for gold SMGs, so of course I had to one-up him and get uh, Orion. Um, so, this is essentially, the gameplay that you're watching is essentially the very last game for the last two guns. I got the Basilisk and the Deagle last. I felt it would be quite poetic to get the Deagle last, um, because I think that the Deagle was, like, the thing that made me want to, like, go for camos in this game. If there was, like, any headshots involved at all, I was like, it'd be easy with fucking Deagle. Because I'll go for it anyways. Um, but yeah. It took me a little over two months since the game came out to finish it. I think, like, the total was, like, seven days and 13 hours for the playtime. Um, I wasn't, I obviously, like, wasn't going for it 100% of the time that the game launched. Um, I would, I would say that, like, not even every play session that we did, I fucking was going for it. And I didn't play it a lot on my own until I, like, started reaching the finish line nearly. Um, so... Yeah, so that's that's what I did, and I figured now would be the best time um, to talk about my likes and dislikes for this game. Let me tell you, I wrote this list a while ago after a full night of getting scanned and repaired, and it's toxic. <laughs> um, I'll start with the pros. There's less camo challenges. So for each gun... There is four base camo challenges. There is a challenge you unlock for gold, which is ten uh, three kill streaks. And then once you've unlocked a gold for everything in that class, you unlock platinum, which is long sh or, yeah long shots. And then once you unlock platinum for everything for fifty one guns, actually, you get the polyatomic challenge, which for everything but the riot shield and the knife and the rockets is headshots. And uh, because of the timing of when I, like, decided to, like, really, like, put my head down and start grinding for all of them was, I had a way to skip the launchers, um, because they added in the M13, the Chimera, um, the Basp, and the Victus XMR, so, and then there's four launchers, so I was like, okay, well, I might as well I feel like launchers would be the thing I would have the most trouble with, especially because I think the polyatomic or platinum camo challenge is to shoot kill streaks down. And I think I had started going for the RPG, and then I was like, I tried shooting down a VTOL on shipment. It took five rockets, and that's when I dropped the rocket launchers. I was like, okay, well, melee and riot shield, or knife and riot shield doesn't look too bad. So that's what I did. Um,. But yeah, that was the one of the best parts about it. The fact that there wasn't really much of a camo grind. So I would feel like the fact that I have it so early this year, it's a bit of an asterisk on, or an asterisk on it um, because of that fact alone. That being said, though, um, I did still have to play this game quite a bit. And a lot of it was super, super frustrating. Um, um, so that is when we start with my cons list. And I'll start since we're on the camos thing, I'll start with a lot of the camo challenges for guns made no sense. Like, I believe that the first sniper is that one of the challenges is to get hip fire kills. It's only ten of them. But it's like that just that just seems so stupid. That's like stuff that people go for in montages and shit, you know? And then for SMGs, I think like two out of the eight SMGs had prone kills, and then a handful of them had mounted kills. And I was just like, why the fuck would I ever want to do that if I'm using an SMG? Like, I, I don't know. There was just a lot of camo challenges that didn't make sense. One of them for the Deagle was to get mounted kills with a fucking pistol. Just didn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, that's all I'll say about the camo challenge. I could go on forever for how frustrating the camo grind was for me. Um, and I don't even feel like I'm that bad at the game. I feel like I'm pretty okay. And I still struggled with it at some points. 
but to go down my list, I'll just briefly talk on or touch on things that I wrote down here. Um, choosy grenade indicators is the first thing I wrote. It must have been a rough night with that. Uh, the grenade indicators were very frustrating. I don't know if I couldn't, I can't really tell if they fixed it or not, but um, for a while it seemed like one in ten grenades like showed the indicator. Not even because like they were cooking it for too long and they just threw a perfectly cooked nade. It was like they threw it, it rolled around for a bit, but there was no grenade indicator on my screen and I just died to it. Um, yeah, and the Santa Senia, that's what I put for my second reason. That's all I put. It's the uh, bridge map. Um, I feel like that one goes without explanation. Um, it's just a terrible map. It's a straight line. And, well, technically, it's supposed to be, I, I guess, two lanes. Um, but, yeah, it's covered in cars in the middle that all blow up, pretty much. And it's just not good, especially with squad spawns. It's horrible. Um, this is something they actually did mostly fix. I put game crashes every second game, no matter how many times I scan and repair it. At first, because in Vanguard it was doing scan and repair a lot when the game first launched too, I never hit scan and repair because I heard that that didn't do anything. Um, didn't do anything in this game either. But for like the first two weeks, I want to say all the way up until Season 1 started. I don't remember how late that was into the game, but... Um, it was, it was literally like every other game I was crashing. It, that's what it felt like. I think like in a night, the most I crashed was like 10 times. And that was like for trying to play for like three hours and I just gave up. Um, but so far, I, I think like two nights ago, I had the first scan repair I've had in a while. Um, so that's, that's good, I guess. Um, snipers have zero flinch. That still hasn't changed. Unflinching grip is way too strong for snipers. That should not be a thing at all. Um, shotguns. Shotguns are always fucking busted now. Because of... They, they for some reason, they made it so shotguns have a lot of range. Even though that's never how it's been in Call of Duty. But I guess, like, shotguns have more range in real life. So they're like, fuck it, it's realistic. But at the same time, it's not. Um, but it's just, it's just... There's just not enough... There's not enough things to counteract shotguns. Because it's like... You move just as fast as you do with an SMG. You don't have to aim. And with a lot of them, besides like the 725 maybe, you could just spam it until you get a kill. But with the 725, you really don't need to because that thing's like a fucking sniper, so. Um, dead Silence. Again, like the camo challenges, I could probably make an entire video about why I think Dead Silence is a fucking joke. Um, but when you, when you pop Dead Silence, it's like you scream and let everyone know in the map that you're popping dead silence, and then you're not even dead silent, so that's fun, um, and there's an animation for it too, which is ridiculous. Um, completely different perk system that no one asked for. Um, no competitive support, slowest UI in the biz. The UI has gotten a lot better. Um, the competitive support has not gotten better. The league is kind of a joke right now um, because of the optic and rocker thing, um, and a bunch of other things that I've chose to avoid watching because of um, dead silence animation and sound. I said that earlier. <coughs> Ghost works in this game without you moving. You don't have to move uh, for you not to be pinged on the radar with a UAV up. However, if you have a suppressor on your gun and you have Ghost on, according to my friend, you still ping on the radar when you shoot with the suppressor on. I haven't noticed it, but he, he said he noticed it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Um, going prone under bouncing betties no longer stops all the damage. Matter of fact, it still damages you, and it pretty much kills you because it stuns you. <laughs> um, Brennan really hates that one also. Um, there's not a single good map in this game anymore. Um, cause I say anymore because the museum map was actually like kind of fun during the uh, beta. And then they took it away before it came out. Um, but yeah. Uh... Added one new map with a new season, so they added like the um, they added shoot house, but it's not, so that's like not even a new map. And then they added shipment, like halfway through the season. But uh, yeah, Activision support is non-existent. That's been a thing for a very long time now. Um, no one has been able to figure out how to fix micro stuttering or stuttering and crashing again. They uh, have mostly fixed that, so it's fine. 
fix a glitch in a game mode no one played even before they added stats. So they had fixed something in co-op, I believe, before they even added stats to the game. Um, let's see, anything else? Yeah, some of the other things were just like minor annoyances that they fixed, but there's just a lot of things in the game that seems like it was a malicious attempt at competitive fans' lives in Call of Duty. Like the dead silence thing, or the no red dots on the radar thing, um, or the ghost thing, or the perk system. Like the fact that it's withholding ghost behind either going off at the beginning of a game or just waiting until you're nearly done with the game to not show up on the radar when you shoot if someone has a UAV. Um, so, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things that it's like, it's like they want you to, it's like Call of Duty, slow down. So, um, yeah, anyways, done with the camo challenges, and they still haven't released a competitive game mode with ranks, I mean. They've released a CDL Mosh Pit playlist, but no actual comp. Um, so, that's really fun. We haven't even gotten an announcement for it yet. Anyways, that's it for me. Um, I feel like I was a lot more tame than I usually am with this kind of stuff, but anyways, see you in the next one. Bye.